Welcome back to our Flash tutorial. In this video, we're going to plug our first database in our web application. As you guys might imagine, a web app without a database is kind of pointless. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a database, fit some data to it, some initial data, and then we're going to display the data in, in a web app. We're going to show you the process of creating the database, plugging it in, and then fetching the data to create an HTML with containing that data. Before going any further, I'm going to show you the structure of the database that we will be using. We will continue with the theme of a library, and in this case, we will have three tables, book, author, and country. The relationship goes this way. A book was written by an author, and an author was born in a country. So we will have to have references between book and author, right, who wrote a particular book, and between author and country, in which country this author was born. The book table has three fields. The, it has two text fields, one of them the title and one of them the ISBN, which are simple. But then it also has a reference to the author that wrote that certain book. The reference will be an ID and it will represent the ID of the author that wrote that particular book. Something similar is going to happen with the author's table. It will have a name, the author, and then we'll have a reference to the country that that author was born in. So for example, uh, an author will have a certain name and it will have an ID representing the country in which, in which he or she was born. So now let's see how all of these translates to code. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the schema that we have in a SQL file. You can find it in library schema.sql. In this schema, you will see that we're creating the three tables that we mentioned before, and up below, you see uh, the example command that you can run to create the database file. I will just go copy this command and execute it in my local machine. Do you see, it was a file was created down there, the library database, which in this case represents our entire database. This database from now is useless, it, uh, it doesn't have any data. So what we're going to do is insert some testing data that we have in initialdata.sql to populate the database and have some a few authors and books to try on. So what I'm going to do is just execute a similar command as before, but in this case, instead of passing library schema, I will pass initialdata.sql. So now let's see how to use this database to display information in a web app. What we want to do is take these authors, read these authors from the database and display them in a web page. So I'm going to show you how it will finally look like. To do so, the first thing you have to do is use the example 09 simple database app in a run app. And I'm going to run this application. And of course, I'm going to reload the page so you can see that it actually works. Let's take a look at this particular module. What we're doing is we're, as usual, creating a simple Flask application, but in the view, the Hello World view, what we're doing is we're first connecting to a database. We're using the SQLite3 connect method from the SQLite3 module that is a built-in module in the Python language. That's why it's so easy to work with SQLite in Python. That's, I told you, the setup is going to be easy. Then we are fetching all the authors from the database with a simple SQL query. We're doing select ID and name from the authors table. Finally, we're constructing a list of dictionaries that each dictionary contains the ID and the name of the author. We will then render a template authors.html containing the data using the data of the authors that we fetch. So if I show you that template, you will see that we are just showing the information from the first three authors, including the ID and the name of that particular author. We've seen how to plug a simple database in our web application. But if you look closely, you will see that we're hard coding the authors that we're using. 
we have already learned how to iterate through lists inside our template to display dynamic data. We're going to do that in our next video and we'll keep advancing on more advanced features of, data, of using databases and Flask.